This month's challenge is totally insane. One year ago, Tracy Ryerson did this beautiful, gorgeous design. Greg is going to try to recreate this design by only listening to her audio. How close will he get? How well will he do? You guys vote one through 10. Also, which design do you like better? I wanna know. Let's get to the challenge now. One year ago, Tracy did an educational video and did, I'm assuming, a beautiful nail, right? So the team challenged me to listen to the audio and try to replicate that nail. Here's the thing, I don't know what video they chose, right? So I have the audio tape or the audio file. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to it and I'm gonna try to replicate exactly what she did and let's see how close I could get to doing this design. I've already prepped it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nail form on. Let's go ahead and push play. We're going to be using cocktail high, ice, holiday Olympics. I'm still learning these names. Wait a minute, so let's go ahead and do this. So she said, Holiday Olympics, uh, let's see, Cocktail High, which is this one right here, this awesome, beautiful, holographic pink color. Um, ice, we have ice. Let's go ahead and push play. Party Ninja. Party Ninja. Backup Bestie. Backup Bestie. Peace Peace. Peace, peace. Some slip pour colors, some of the new ones. We have me versus you. We have unruly blitz. We have an old classic one, hyperspace. And this is the mix that we are actually going to use that I've already made before that has that cocktail high and ice in it. Okay, let's get started. Okay. She said there was a mix of cocktail high and ice in it. So I need to make that mix. Let me go ahead and do that before we get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take some speed clear. We're gonna just pour in enough. Okay, so I have ice and cocktail high, which are these two colors right here. So let me go ahead and mix in a nice healthy amount, cocktail high and some ice, oh, that's pretty. All right, and I have that ready to do some damage. Go ahead and just roll this, kind of create that pre-mix. I gotta say, this is, <laughs> dude, this is a ton of stuff. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's get our a clear acrylic out. I'm going to get a clear base down. A little clear base down on this natural nail. The reason I put that clear acrylic on there first is I'm going to put a dark color on the nail bed, and this way it'll protect it from staining. It also, if I want to completely remove this nail, she comes in and she says, I don't want these anymore. Okay, so... I know exactly what she wants. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of clear acrylic and I'm just going to place a really thin amount on the natural nail to prevent any of the darker colors from actually staining. So what I'll do is just lightly brush on some speed clear. And that way we have absolute protection on the surface of the natural nail before we actually get into the design. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of this hyperspace on to get some darkness in the background. Do this fairly wet. Let that brush just kind of, we're almost wanting to use it like a paint. We don't want to build any strength or structure with it. 
We just want it to give us some darkness. So when we put that glitter on it, it's not see-through. Great. Okay. Okay, so from what I assume, she's taking some of this hyperspace and just kind of brushing it over the surface to create a little bit of, of um, basically coverage on the surface of the nail. So I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna paint it on. So I'm gonna take hyperspace, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this really wet as well. And then I'm just going to kind of brush this on. I'm gonna to try to get this as close to the surface, the cuticle area, without touching. Okay, get a wipe so I can just wipe my brush. Use it to my brush, just get tight around the cuticles. All right, so again, I'm just using real small amounts of hyperspace. You can see I'm just literally picking this up and then dabbing it on so that it's really wet. That way it kind of paints onto the surface. I'm assuming the team already knows what this looks like, so hopefully I'm moving in the right direction. And just try to get great coverage by just lightly dabbing this on. All right, let's move on. Grab that gold, we're gonna put that out. We're gonna pull it forward or backwards, whatever direction you're looking at it. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I do want it to be kind of see-through. So if there's little bald spots, we'll call it Greg spots. <laughs> it's okay because we I want a little see-through action going on. Wait, what? I don't, uh, what gold is she talking about? This doesn't make any sense. I'm assuming she's talking about unruly blitz, so. Out. We're gonna pull it forward or backwards, whatever direction you're looking at it. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I do want it to be kind of see-through. So if there's little bald spots, we'll call it Greg spots. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because we I want a little see-through action going on. Okay, so one of the things I forgot to do, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now, is I'm going to take some of the speed clear, and I'm actually going to build out the tip. She didn't explain what she was going to build. She just built a... She's built an extension, but she needed to build this extension flush to the nail, so I'm going to build... A lot of Tracy's nails are going to be kind of a stiletto shape, I'm assuming. So I'm just going to kind of build a really clear thin platform on top. Because I think what she's trying to do is take all the colors and just kind of mix it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create that really thin clear platform first. And then what she's doing is she's pulling most of the color through the surface. Let me go ahead and listen one more time. That brush just kind of, we're almost wanting to use it like a paint. We don't want to build any strength or structure with it. We just want it to give us some darkness. So when we put that glitter on it, it's not see-through. Great. Okay, grab that gold. We're gonna put that out. We're gonna pull it forward or backwards, whatever um, direction you're looking at it. So I'm just going to, I do it. She says we're just gonna pull it forward or backwards. So I'm just gonna kind of do some random spotting with it. Let's see what it turns out. that on I'm not gonna go too crazy because I do want it to be kind of see-through so if there's little 
bald spots. Craig spots. We'll call it Craig spots. <laughs> it's okay because we I want a little see-through action going on. I'm gonna grab our me versus you. Me versus you, which is this purple. Okay. I'm in love with this color. Really pretty. I'm gonna grab some of that mix that I had. Ice and cocktail, and again, remember that doesn't even have any acrylic in it. That, that um, hyperspace is still kind of tacky and it holds it. Now let's grab some of our slivers. So she didn't mix it. So mistake I already made, but you know what? That's fine because the glitter mix is absolutely perfect inside and it's going to fill in the space. So let's see how it works out. That in there, I'm just putting it on and then spreading it out with my brush. I wanna get some of that green highlight going on. Now let's say that you're like, okay, stuff isn't sticking anymore. You can take your brush. Grab your clear, grab a nice little wet coat and brush it out. That's gonna make that surface sticky again. So you can keep going. Okay. Which I'm going to do. So Tracy basically said what she's doing is she's just kind of moving some of this material through the surface. I think it, it, it's really a combination between all of them. So between the gold um, and some of these really hot colors, what I'm going to do is just kind of mix it up and through because of the background. As you can see, look at it, look, look how awesome that looks. All right. And I, I really believe that with this, it's just creating this kind of really intense fade. It's kind of a mixture between all the colors before I come in and cap it. But let's go ahead and listen. That purple chunks. You can put this out on your towel and break it up there if you want. This is just working nicely the way I'm doing it. It's such a finer grit of mylar than I we used to carry, so it breaks up really nicely. And just a few of this piece piece to give it that pop, that bling. Piece piece, which I think is, yes, it's this one right here. So again, I'm just using a little bit of this just to kind of go through. Oh, this is crazy. Let's see if this works out when it's all said and done. I mean, right now, it's just a pile of glitter and color that looks like outer space. Okay. This is definitely a jewel. It's definitely yeah. a jewel. Woohoo! Okay. Once we have the look we want, we're gonna grab that clear and let's get it capped in clear. Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna cap it in clear, file it in the shape, and let's see if we've matched the nail that Tracy has described in the audio clip.
we've got endless amounts of videos, so do not stop now. Click, watch, click, watch, keep that going, and don't forget to give us one of these.